In this video I'm going to model an image that I found on Google. If you want to download the image, link is in the description. All the plugins that I use are in the description. Let's start. Select the top faces and press Ctrl plus I to invert the selection and delete the faces. Select this edge and extrude it on the X and Z axis, and then extrude it on the Z axis. Add a support loops. Now add a loop and select these faces and extrude it on the z-axis, and make these faces flat by scaling it on the z-axis. Position these faces in this edge and merge the vertices by pressing 3 if you are using machine tools, or you can do it manually by going to Mesh tab, Clean up, Merge by Distance. Add a loop to make it quads. Apply the mirror modifier and add a loop in the middle, then select these two vertices and scale it on the y-axis. This will give space when we add details in the middle of the mesh. Select the middle vertex and bevel it and press F9 and set the segments to 5. Now make it circular by using Loop Tools add-in. You should enable Loop Tools add-on to use this feature. Go to Edit and Preferences and select Add-ons and search for Loop Tools. Since we are going to use the mirror modifier we need to connect these vertices so that we will have a straight edges in the middle and in order for the mirror modifier to work properly. Now delete the other half and add a mirror modifier. And as you can see there is a space in the middle of the mesh. This happens when your edges are not on the middle of the world axis. Let us fix it by moving these edge closer to the middle. Now select these faces and inset it, this will serve as our support loop and extrude it on the z-axis. Press E and right click to cancel the extrusion. And press S followed by pressing X and Y to scale the extruded faces in the X and Y axis. If you notice that when scaling the extruded faces in the X and Y axis, it deforms the circle, make it circular again by using loop tools, and extrude it on the negative Z axis, and inset it to add a support loop. Now select these edges and extrude it on the negative Z axis. Up. 
I forgot to fix the topology, so let us fix it by adding the loops and connecting these vertices. Go to object mode and add a subdivision surface modifier and a bevel modifier, and set the shading to smooth. It is important that the bevel modifier is above the subdivision surface modifier to avoid mesh artifacts. Now I am going to delete the other half because we can model a quarter of the mesh and just use a mirror modifier to make our lives much easier. Let us fix this mess by moving these edges on the y-axis. Now select this edge and extrude it on the negative z-axis, and join the vertices and extrude again in the negative z-axis. Select these edges and extrude it on the y-axis. Let us now fix this mesh artifacts.
Adjust the proportion as necessary. Now it's time to add more support loops and fixing the edge flow as we go. And we are done. Thank you for watching.